Good morning. I know I look like a hot mess, but it is 6 a.m. in the morning. And I guess a.m. kind of clued you in on that. And I haven't slept. I haven't slept. I've been up since like 3. So, it's been a long week. Um, I told y'all this week we would be kind of MIA because we have so many doctor's appointments. Big Daddy's uh, neck surgery is on Monday. So, we've been getting ready for that. But I'm up, and I might as well make myself useful. So, we're going to experiment, because I've never made this. I don't know if it's going to work out, but we're going to see. And cross our fingers and say a prayer. All right, so, we're making a key lime fudge. And I come across this recipe online, um, and it seemed pretty interesting. However, the recipe called for lime zest. I personally don't like zest, and I don't like the texture of it. I don't like the flavor of it. It could be a bit bitter. So I'm going to leave that out. I'm going to make this recipe my own. I'm also going to add some stuff to it that's not, this recipe does not call for. So let's get started. We are making key lime fudge. Now, first things first, um, her recipe called for two tablespoons of lime juice and how much zest? A fourth of a cup of zest. To me, that's a lot. I'm like, no thanks. But to get that key lime flavor, you really need some lime flavor. So, I have another alternative that we're going to try. I don't know if it's going to work. But I've already um, squeezed, I don't know, three or four limes. So, I'm trying to get about two tablespoons here. We'll call that done. All right, now we're going to need... Um, her recipe calls for a five ounce can of evaporated milk. This can is 12 ounces, so I'm going to use about half of it. Like I said, I've never made this. I don't know if it's gonna work. I might be jacking up this poor girl's recipe, but we gonna see. I think it might be okay. Let's use about half this can. We're going to put it in this pot over here. All right, it looks about like half. I'll use the rest of that in my coffee or something. Okay, now, um, we're going to need her recipe called for a cup and a two-thirds. We're just going to do two cups. No need to make things complicated. Um, a half a teaspoon of salt. We'll go with that. Half a teaspoon of salt into the pot. And then we're going to add our lime juice, about two tablespoons of lime juice in there. I'm going to put this on the stove and we're going to bring that to a boil. Give a little stir first here. Now, her recipe she calls for like candy thermometers. Well, she says she doesn't use one because she kind of has made it a hundred times so she knows what she's doing. Like I said, we're already experimenting, so we're just gonna wing it. I'm gonna put this over there on a medium low heat and let that come to a boil. Well, Now, we're going to need some marshmallows cut up, and she says to use about 12, two, three, four, seven, eight. So, I don't know why we didn't just measure this. Is that two cups of, it's, I use two cups of sugar, just granulated sugar. So, her recipe calls for 12, um, Large marshmallows quartered. And I guess she quarters them, because we're going to melt this in there, I guess she quarters them to help them melt down, which doesn't make sense to me, because why wouldn't you just get the small ones? I don't know. 
but I guess it would be hard to measure how many cups of marshmallows because I guess they come in different sizes with different brands so we're just gonna do it her way actually well we gotta wait for that to come to a bowl anyway so I might as well just cut them up all right so wow I can't believe we have 200 people on at 6 a.m experimenting on dessert with me now listen, I don't know how this is gonna come out and we have to let it set, it's a fudge. So what we're gonna do is, um, don't try this immediately. I'm gonna put, and I'm gonna go back and edit the post and say this was a win or this was a fail or whatever. And I'll come back and do another live too when it's done. But a lot of times, if people catch it on a replay or something, they miss the, the second reveal live because I get a lot of comments, you never show us the results. I almost always show the results. Um, they just don't know how to find them. So, I will put on there. I'm not, I won't delete the video, but if it comes out as a fail, I'll say do not try to make this. It did not come out. I gotta watch that over there, so I'm gonna go stir that real quick. So back to what I was saying, her recipe calls for um, some zest. I don't like zest. So we're trying to do this without using lime zest. We're making key lime fudge, or trying to. We'll let you know how it turns out. I've never made this before. Um, I came across the recipe and I'm just trying to make it my own way because 720 here, East Coast. Yep. Lord, think about our California people. Anybody from the West Coast down? That would be, what, They're like three hours behind us? They would, they would be a night owl, like I was last night. I didn't sleep good the last two nights, but Daddy had to spend the night in the hospital last night to do his second, um, <laughs> to do his second um, sleep study. So, when he's not here or with me, I, I, don't, I just don't sleep good. You know, you get used to sleeping next to somebody. So, I, I missed who it was, but she said if she had a knife in her hand this early, she'd cut her finger off. <laughs> I've been up for a while. I'm not like 9.20 p.m. in Melbourne. Oh, Miss Vanessa. So, you're about to hit the sack, and everybody else is just getting up. Good morning, Miss Jeannie from Georgia. Now I'm just making a sticky mess with my fingers here. But I'll tell you, ripping them is much easier than the knife. Like I said, I'm not sure why you even need to do this, but that's what she said. So she said about 12 large marshmallows. And marshmallows come in different sizes. They got the small ones, they got the regular ones. Hey, Heather. Um, and then they got those jumbo ones that you use for s'mores. But they said jumbo, so I got regular, thinking well, maybe that's large. If we don't like the consistency, we can always add some more marshmallows. All right, let's check out what's going over here. Going on over here. Ooh, yeah, we're bowling. All right, so I'm going to take this off the heat just so I can show it to y'all. And show you the next step, because this is where I got cre creative. I want something here. Um, mm. Hold on, let me grab a pot holder. If I can find one, and I cannot. So, I know you're all like, why aren't you prepared? Well, it's 6 a.m., so there's one reason. But number two, I probably wouldn't be anyways. Let's just face it, it's just who I am. All right. So we're gonna take this off of here. We got this on going on a low boil. Now, to give it that key lime flavor without the zest, I'm gonna add a box of lime jello. I know it's weird to milk. 
I don't know if it's going to work. We'll see. This could be a huge fail. But, you know, you don't know about recipes till you try them. So, we're going to see. Put that whole thing in there. And I'm using instant. Oh, uh, no, it's not instant. It's lime gelatin dessert. I just got the Walmart brand. Three ounces. Seems to be melting fine in here. Now, it says on the Jello packet to cook this for two minutes and let that get all dissolved. So, I'm going to switch to a whisk. And y'all can't really see in here, but I'm going to put that back on there for just a few minutes to make sure that the jello gets all melted. But we got to watch it because I don't want it to, I don't know, like scorch our milk or burn. Oh, shoot. I didn't turn it off. I'm going to explode my house. That is not working. Turn it on the other right now. All right. Now, while that's doing, let's get some parchment paper. She says in her video, or not video, but on her website she says she uses buttered aluminum foil but I'm just going to use parchment paper okay the next thing I want to tell you is um, she says to use an 8 by 8 pan this one is a 7 by 8 she says not, very specifically, not to use a 9 by 9 because then your fudge won't be very thick. So, we're going to go with that. You guys taught me a trick to crumble up um, let's see. Quack, quack, quack. Um, uh-oh. Tammy, girl, I will definitely keep you in our prayers. And please keep me posted on what's going on with that. Because I want to know. And it, it looks like somebody else said me too. I don't know if they're me too and because they're having the same issue or if they're me too and because they have the same or I'm not sure. So I'm gonna go back and look at that a little closer and then um, we'll keep both of you guys in our prayers. The one pair of scissors I had out, I just put in the doggone dishwasher. So I got these, but they're the like the, you know, All right, that's okay. We'll just kind of go with it. This is actually working pretty good. Since we got it started, we'll just finish it like that. All right. Now, it doesn't go all the way up the sides on the sides here, and that's okay, but I will spray the sides just to give it a little extra protection so it doesn't stick, but we'll see how that turns out. Let's check our stuff over here. It's boiling. Let me give it a stir. Looks like that's pretty good melted in, but I'm going to let it go another minute or so. All right. Now you're going to need about two cups of white chocolate. Now, I didn't, I really didn't want to use this. I wanted to use my almond bark, 
I know, y'all gonna kill me because I just used my teeth to open that. But, uh -uh. but, not kill me, but, you know, fuss at me. It's okay. Let's give that another stir. I figure it's probably been pretty close to two minutes, and if not, it's close enough. So, let's bring this pot back over here. And show you what it looks like so far. It looks like a witch's brew. I know y'all can't really see in here. Maybe I'll take that camera down. I'll take it down. Take it down. So y'all can see our witch's brew. It's funny. All right, this is what it looks like. Uh-oh, hold on, let's see if I can flip it. There we go. See how it's green? That's just the bottom of my pot. All right, let's add our marshmallows in. I know, I'm trying to do this one-handed. And we also need to add in our chocolate chips. Now my hands are sticky. This bag is about two cups. So I'm just going to put the whole bag in there. I'm going to put you guys back on the stand. All right. And we're going to stir it. And it's going to, it should according to her, melt just like this. And you want to keep stirring, and it is, it's melting pretty quick. So you want to keep stirring until all your chocolate and your marshmallows are melted in. See, I don't understand why we didn't just use small marshmallows, but... Y'all, this might not even turn out. We are going to have to just see. Let me see if I can see some comments. Hit that little button. We are making um, key lime fudge at 6 a.m. You would think I'd be making breakfast, but... Nope. My people probably won't wake up till 10, and then it's almost time for lunch, so... We haven't been doing a lot of cooking this week because we've been running the roads. And actually, the last couple of days I was sick. But you know what I think is wrong with me? I think I have an ulcer from worrying too much. I really do. It's just like right here and it burns. So I just eat my Tums and Prilosec and pray. You know how it is when you got somebody to take care of, you don't have time to take care of yourself. Okay, this is really pretty. It's very, um, I don't know. I'm about to pour it in there so you'll be able to see it. It's creamy, milky, um, smooth, and hopefully we have our key lime flavor. Let's see. Lord, that's sweet. And you do have a key lime flavor. But fudge is supposed to be sweet. Let me turn the stove off. But, um, let's just see how it turns out. Ready? Let's see if we can pour it in here without making a huge mess or burning ourselves. Use these paper towels. Let's paint on my pot holders. And I don't have extra hands at 6 a.m. All right, let's see how it goes. Ready? Everybody say a little prayer. It's very key limey. Oh, I said I was going to spray it, and I didn't. That's okay. It's like going right up to that edge of the paper. Okay. 
marshmallow stick, so we'll start running some water on that now. Okay. Now we're going to stick this in the refrigerator and um, see if it sets and see how it turns out. So what we'll do is we'll come back live after I cut it. Can y'all see in there? I mean, it's so pretty. It's very creamy, but I want to shake it around because I don't want my paper to get. We're going to stick it in the refrigerator and let it set. We'll come back. And uh, I didn't spray it. Okay, I forgot. But it's it's fine. It's lower than my sides of my paper, so it's okay. Um, I think. I hope. Anyways, once it sets, we'll come back and do another live and show it to you. And... If it's not good, I will tell you um, in the description of this video, do not make this because it's, look, I'll, I'll tell you the truth, but I hope you got a sweet tooth because it, it seems pretty, uh, pretty sweet. Oh, look, she's brand new to the page this morning. I'm just gonna, it's sweet. Maybe you don't need two cups of sugar. Marshmallows can neutralize acid in your stomach. I'm going to have to try that. i got a whole bag here, half open. All right. So let's see how this turns out. Um, I know we got a lot of big-time sweet eaters. Yeah, I have a feeling this is going to be too sweet for me. But, ooh, my refrigerator is full. Let's take this out. We'll take our eggs out, and we'll put them in the outside refrigerator. And we'll stick our key lime fudge very gently so it doesn't go over those edges. Ooh. It must have marshmallow on it. You know what? We'll just take it with us. this turns out um the original recipe if you want to follow this girl's recipe her let's see if it says on here okay so this one is www.recipegirl.com and it's the key lime fudge hers is definitely a different recipe than mine but like i said hers called for a lot of lime zest i'm not crazy about lime zest so we'll see is the cookbook out? Yes, you can. Oh, and can I still order one? Yes, you can order one. It is not. I have not gotten it yet. I'm expecting it at the end of the month. And once I get it, I'll start shipping it out to you guys immediately. I'm pretty excited, though. I'm a little nervous. But I'm pretty excited. You can still order one. And I'll put the link back up on the page. Because um, I did order extra. Poor little Tammy. I'm going to keep praying for you, girl. All right. So, in the meantime, I'm going to go maybe brush my hair and put some Maybelline on or something. And uh, so, next time I see you, I'll look a little cuter. Um, and I will be back and let you know how this recipe turns out. Oh, she says, the recipe girl here, she says she adapted her recipe from Southern Living. And I adapted mine from hers. So, there you go. I'm going to start typing this up. Well, not this, but typing up my recipe so in case it comes out um the cookbooks are $24.99 um in case it comes out fine and I'll have it all ready to go if not I could just throw it away I know 500 people watching at six o'clock in the morning that's great might need to do some more early bird stuff okay all right so I will see you all um a little bit later y'all have a great great day